Hello everyone, GTO Base here. Today we're gonna talk about a new version 1.26. 1.26 is a really significant update in the history of GTO Base. We introduced new solutions and recalculated some of the older ones. We implemented new feature that corresponds with the modern trends. And also we reworked the subscription policy from the scratch. And now GTO Base is available to many more people with more uh, free features. We completely reworked some of the viewer components, introduced equity realization and run out uh, navigation, new reports uh, to compare strategies, and new filters uh, in a GTO trainer. You can get familiar with all the changes in our blog or on forum. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. The cutest part of the latest update is this new little mascot. This little guy, little poker shark, will help you to navigate uh, through GTO base. It will appear in our blog and in uh, different other roles and we really hope that this cute little guy, cute little helper, will make it easier for you to work with GTO base, uh, which is uh, full of uh, complex grids, evaluations uh, and uh, numbers. We haven't come up uh, with the name for the guy yet, uh, but we will be really happy to see your ideas on how to name it uh, in the comment section below. Thank you. Lately everyone's been talking about neural networks uh, and artificial intelligence. Is it possible for neural networks uh, to replace uh, some people uh, in some professions? What are the limitations of neural networks? Is it possible to tell a neural network from a human? Or is it hard to do that already? Simple Poker is a company that always set uh, challenging goals. We always try to implement uh, new disciplines uh, to come out with the new features uh, that are unavailable on the market. And today we are happy to introduce uh, the beta version of GPT Coach. And let's go over it. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, why we have uh, implemented uh, this uh, feature in the first place. Uh, what are the limitations? Uh, is it free or do you have to pay something for it? Uh, uh, how you can actually use it, how you can uh, benefit from it? And will it ever replace an actual uh, human coach? First of all, I want to mention that this is a better version only. So there are a lot of things uh, we can work on and uh, improve uh, in the future. So use it, uh, test it, uh, try it and uh, give us as much feedback as possible. The more information we get from you, uh, the closer this uh, software will be to uh, your expectations. Okay, how does it work uh, in the first place? Uh, well, a GPT Coach is a combination of two very powerful technologies, a GTO Base and a GPT. When we started working on this one, uh, the basic idea for us was to get a human-like explanation of a GTO mistake. When we upload hands or when we work with a GTO trainer, uh, GTO uh, finds uh, mistakes for us. Like uh, it just says, uh, here's a mistake, uh, here's how much EV you have lost and uh, that's it. It doesn't explain us why this is a mistake, uh, how uh, we can avoid this mistake and what we should focus on to avoid uh, those mistakes in the future. Well, you can find these answers for yourself in GTO base, but you have to go through different reports, uh, do a lot of work and so on. And the main goal of GPT Coach is to give you this human-like explanation of your mistakes uh, based on a GTO base analysis. So how do you start this GPT Coach where you can find it? Uh, uh, first of all, you can find it here in the hands tab, both for hands that you have actually uploaded here and for hands uh, that you uh, worked on in the GTO trainer right here. And yeah, it only works for the hands uh, with the mistake. So we open a hand uh, and we see this little GPT coach uh, button uh, top right. So yeah, we can open a GPT coach uh, from here. If there's a mistake in Heroes Play, uh, we can open it uh, anytime. And we can also open it uh, from a GPT trainer. We start a session, uh, we make uh, a mistake, uh, doesn't matter what kind of mistake. And then we click here on GPT analysis and hopefully get some reasonable explanation of our mistake. In the nearest future, we want to invite some uh, professional coaches and professional poker players uh, to give us feedback on this feature and in combination with your feedback, I hope we can improve for GPT Coach and uh, make uh, its answers uh, as human-like uh, as possible. So please use it, try it and leave your feedback. It is actually really important for us. Thank you.
A lot of people asked us to make GTOBase more accessible and today we are proudly present a new subscription plans to you. As of now we have five libraries on different disciplines, which are Spin & Go, Heads Up Anti, Six Max Cache, MTTs and Heads Up Cache. And only Spin & Go and Heads Up Anti are not free. Six Max Cache and MTT are actually in beta right now, so you can use it for free without any actual restrictions. And Heads Up Cache is a Proma library actually, which is designed to help people to get to know GTO Base, to get accustomed to the software. So it probably would stay free forever. So what are the actual changes in terms of subscription? Now we have four plans instead of one. It used to be just one uh, 150 a month, but now you have uh, different options, which are demo, uh, basic, uh, pro, and uh, ultimate. Well, demo is basically a, a trial use. A lot of uh, features are available, but there are limitations in terms of uh, how much uh, you can use them. Basic level is for GTO beginners, for those uh, who prioritize a viewer and a GTO trainer. Pro level is for more advanced users, for those who upload hands and want to get uh, some analysis on those. And ultimate level is for professionals, uh, for really advanced users uh, who want to get uh, the most uh, out of uh, GTO base, who want to use uh, all the features. On this new subscription page uh, you can see all the four uh, plans, uh, you can compare those. And everyone who subscribed before will be automatically uh, moved to the ultimate plan. It is absolutely free, you don't have to pay anything for that. And you have a nice improvement actually uh, from 75,000 hands per month. You can now upload up to 200,000 hands per month. Key moments here, uh, pro and ultimate subscriptions uh, allow you to upload a lot of hands uh, per month. So if you want to actually upload uh, tons of hands, uh, those are the plans you should go for. A basic plan allows for not uh, as many uploads, of course, but you can still upload some, 2000 per month, uh, not so bad actually. And finally, demo plan, you can upload up to 500 hands per month. You can check any amount of preflop solutions, uh, only 10 uh, hands for postflop solutions for a day, and you can go over 50 hands in GTO trainer per day. Other plans don't have uh, those limitations. I should also mention that we got rid of some limitations for those who uh, doesn't want to uh, renew their subscriptions. For example, no more restrictions uh, for the uploaded hands uh, in the hands tab. Before, if your subscription has expired, you no longer had an opportunity to uh, go over your hands and see Evilos, for example. Now you basically get access to those hands uh, forever. In terms of payment options, the default one is uh, by credit card uh, via FastSpring, a very safe uh, payment service. But if for some reason you cannot use a credit card, uh, we have a lot of options actually. You can contact our support team and you can purchase a license key. Uh, we have a lot of uh, payment methods here, uh, Skrill, Nutella, uh, WebMoney and so on. So just choose uh, the one that suits you. Now let's briefly go over changes in solutions. First of all, we introduced uh, postflop solutions for uh, a 6 max cache and all 500 library uh, for 2.5 BB raises, with stack sizes up to 200 BBs. Next, we have completely changed uh, heads up solutions uh, for stack sizes from 5 uh, to 13 big blinds. We did it according to the recommendations uh, from uh, professional players and coaches, and you can find more information about it uh, in our blog. Really cool news for those who use uh, 6max uh, cache library. You can see that uh, this one is in beta right now and uh, down here we have uh, some information about uh, uploads. Uh, what does it mean? It means that as of now, while it's uh, still in beta, you can upload up to 25,000 hands per month absolutely for free. Uh, don't miss this opportunity. Okay guys, uh, it is possible that this video will come out uh, before the previews of uh, uh, versions uh, 1.24 uh, and 1.25, where we introduced a lot of uh, new very useful features. We kindly ask you to like this video and subscribe to our channel. This way we will make videos more often and we will actually know that uh, they are useful for you.
Now let's go over some changes in the viewer. We have implemented uh, equity realization and it is available for uh, one player and uh, two players as well. So you can compare equity realization here uh, and use different filters. And also equity realization is now available in aggregated reports. Right now we have four review modes uh, for turn and river aggregated reports. Those are strategy, uh, equity, equity realization and EV. We also have uh, two display modes uh, for uh, those uh, turn and river aggregated reports. Uh, those are bars, the one that you see right now, and matrix, which we are uh, more used to, I guess. Also, we have reworked some of the uh, viewer components. Take a look at the detailed matrix uh, in the uh, bottom right uh, corner. Right now we see that all the values are in a large uh, font. But if you use uh, a mixed value display, for example, if you want to add uh, some uh, values in the matrix, uh, like uh, EVs on top of the strategy uh, or equity or equity realization, we see that all of those values also appear in the detailed matrix. And even if this cell is really small, we can still easily read uh, all the values here. We have also reworked uh, tooltips. Uh, those little pop-up windows that appear when you mouse over a hand uh, in the matrix or in the combo list uh, here or in the uh, detailed matrix. So yeah, you can get this uh, additional information uh, pretty much anywhere if you want to take a closer look uh, on a certain hand or a certain uh, combo. But if the tool tips uh, actually bother you, you can uh, turn them off uh, anytime you like. And you can actually turn them off uh, for every area uh, separately. Also, I want to mention that you now can uh, choose uh, colors uh, for equity realization also. There are three basic colors. Uh, uh, it's always the same. One for 0% equity realization, one for 100% and one for uh, maximum equity realization. And then we have a gradient in between. Next, you can now uh, change uh, turn and river cards uh, faster. You see those little arrows uh, around turn and river cards. If you press left or right, then you change the uh, suit of the card. If you click up or down, you change uh, card's rank. And it will not uh, change the line or the note at all. Uh, we think that uh, this one is uh, pretty handy. We are happy to introduce a new aggregated reports uh, for a certain node. You probably already know that we have aggregated strategy for a certain nodes uh, in a GTO base, which is very useful for preflop uh, solutions. This interface is very high functional actually. You can either display all the data in a few matrices or you can combine everything in one. In the previous version, we implemented aggregated strategies for effective stacks and positions. Now in this version, you can also see uh, aggregated strategies uh, by rake and open raises uh, for uh, six max solutions. We are happy to announce that we have a new type of uh, filters in GTO base, a filter by hands. Uh, there are three modes in it. Uh, first, uh, initial range filter. So we are filtering the hands that are falling in this uh, initial uh, hero's range. And the other two are uh, equity filter and uh, EV filter, but those of course uh, filter not the initial range, uh, but the range uh, in the node. For example, if you start post flop in GTO trainer and you've selected uh, this type of hands, uh, then you will uh, sure get only the strong hands. We also worked on the training process, so we tried to optimize it. We made some optimizations on the side of the client and uh, we also introduced uh, a new mode. It allows you to uh, skip uh, the result of the hand. Uh, you can skip it always. If you click uh, off right here, or you can only see the result uh, when you've actually uh, made a mistake. And finally, I want to draw your attention to our thread on 2 plus 2 forum. We work really hard to improve GTO base in every sense possible and a lot of features are actually free and uh, stay free for now. And it would be really great for us if you leave at least one comment uh, in this thread. Just leave your feedback, say what you think, what you want to see in the future, what you want uh, to change, what you want to improve and so on. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye.